goal kick here for Monaco, trying to build from the back. Nice to work to Daniel once again. He'll be the one to keep an eye on. Nicely chipped towards the box. Working it back. Brilliant ball movement here from Monaco. Trying to go for that low cross was Daniel Gonsalves there. But nicely blocked away. It's going to be a test for the Irish. Two top sides taking on each other. They had a very convincing victory in their opening game against Nigeria or the Irish. And now it's the big number 11 down the left flank. Home Aldini. What a name. He's a big unit, moves very swiftly. The Irish in their national colors of orange, white, and green. Monaco in all red, Fonction Publique. And they're trying to build from the back. They use their keeper quite frequently to create opportunities, create mismatches. And you can see he's striding forward with a lot of confidence. Has a shot and goal. And that just fizzes past the right upright. What a moment that would have been if the keeper had scored the opening goal of the game. The Monaco defense was backing off him and he said, I'll have a dip. Lovely through ball by Daniel down the left flank, but just going beyond. Huge Manfredi there. And they'll have to man mark Daniel Gonzalez. He is a brilliant player. Nicely headed on there, but off the Monaco defender claiming a goal kick. And I think they'll get it. Yes, they will. Nope, a bit of confusion. He's like, leave the ball, mate. Get back into the game. Arno Sparato, the keeper for Fonction Publique. And we have Oin in goal for the Irish. Expect this to be a tactical battle here. Both sides very skillful. A lot of off the ball movement. And their finishing is top notch. Daniel Gonsalves on the ball once again. He's their true playmaker. They rely a lot on him for creativity and mismatches. And keep an eye on number 10, Andrea Caschio as well. He's a very skillful forward player as well so a lot of technical ability as you'd expect from the frenchman and ireland will need to show some resolve need to show some quality in the finishing give and go try to work it there Gav, they're getting in a bit of a tangle with Daniel. That's going to be the premier battle, number eight of Synergy. And number 18 of the Fonction Publique, all in red. And with those pink boots there, as you can see. Just working the ball around, looking for openings. And Owen has stepped out, as always, for the Irish. Creating a mismatch. Worked towards Gav. On to Niall here. Back to Gav. And Homa Aldini. What a name that is. A bit of tongue in cheek in there. Perhaps their high flying left back, left winger. So the Irish content to build the ball from the back, pass it around, make the Frenchman stretch a little bit. Nicely attempted through ball. One on one with the keeper and that's a top save. That would have been very, very close. But Arno Sparato for the Monaco back line. The GK doing really well there. Outside of the foot cross but straight at Oin in the Irish goal. Four minutes have absolutely flown by. No clear chances just yet for the Frenchman. And the rolling clubs are going into the game. So, oh, bit of a miscontrol and that's 1-0 for Monaco. <laughs> 1-0, Fonction Publique. Five minutes gone by. So the Irish are on the back foot. 
they need to respond Gav on the ball playing it around with the back line once again Niall the one who had miscontrolled there and gifted that goal to the team from Monaco and all red but have to forget about it there's plenty of action still to come plenty of opportunities will be created on stepping out of his goal once again they're adding that extra man onto the pitch through ball attempted nice control there was it under a bit of pressure and Daniel Gonzalez once again showing his physical prowess brilliant control it's really hard to post up with him as they say in basketball when his back is to the defender hard to dislodge him speculative strike Owen bats it down and controls it nicely Tries to get Gav on the ball. Gonsalves with a one-time shot. But it just fizzes away past left upright. So it's been a good start for the Frenchman once again. Andrea Castillo with the goal. Off the howler from number 10 of Synergy, Niall. And of course, in futsal, you are allowed to throw the ball in as a keeper. Putting him under pressure. Good work there from the Frenchman. Sankey is number six. He's the one on the ball right now. Trying to play make from the back. There he is. And number seven is Sieran. Looking up, looking for open players. You need a lot of movement off the ball. Trying that lofted pass towards that left flank, but just a bit errant. Siren couldn't get across to it. So they've definitely designated Nile to be the one playmaking from the back line, looking for those raking balls across to the left flank. But now it's the Frenchman on the ball. They've been content to just sit in. Content to play with limited possession. They're a very, very stout defensive side. Very tough to break down. And the Irish are clearly realizing that. Hence the use of their keeper as a libero. Ball given away in midfield once again. Good defense by Monaco. And now they get the opportunity to rebuild from the back. on screen out your right is Lucas Magnani Daniel Gonsalves on the ball once again look at that speed look at that dribbling
That is the goal for Morocco. 1 0 in Southfield. They've lost possession once again, and he stops the shot. And that was an opportunity there for Michael Farina. But scuffs his shot straight at the keeper. Opportunity here once again on his left foot. Trying to work an opening. But has to track back. That was a guilt-edged opportunity here. And this time it's Sankey on the ball. Tries a shot with his left foot. Bouncing off the defenders. Content to just work the ball around here. There's that man, Michael Farina. He had a huge opportunity. It was not availed. This time played into the box. Chance for a shot. He goes for it first time. To Cedric Moraleda. But scuffs it away. So, the Monaco side have had two very, very good opportunities to get shots on target, but haven't taken the chances. And will they be made to pay? That is the question. Gav trying to get on the ball. Some rough stuff there, and the referee has called up the Frenchman. So, a bit of relief. Trying to build here quickly, though. Niall getting on the ball, but the ref says, hang on, mate. Do it on my whistle. the box once again back heel and nicely intercepted just in the nick of time lofted ball down the right flank just cleared it got it out of harm's way so the, the Irish have controlled possession but not made much use of it this time once again trying a back heel Sh speculative shot from the right flank from Michael Farina he's really gunning for a goal now Powering through the Irish back line. But Niall just about cleans it up. Oh, Maldini will have time to get his foot down on the ball now. Gav, the chief playmaker here for Synergy. Taking some risks at the back there. No look pass and a rough tackle there. And a booking immediately for the number eight of Monaco. Referee once again telling them to just hang on a bit. That was Cedric Laudizi getting the booking there for Monaco. Nice ball here. One, two. Chance for a shot. And they've equalized. A beautiful goal by the Irish. What a game we're having here at field day at the La Liga Academy in Dubai. The Irish tying it all up. It's been a war of attrition here for both sides. Very good defensively. Very few openings in attack. And that half has absolutely flown by. It's 1-1 at the break. We'll be right back in just a couple of minutes for the second half between Fonction Publique and Synergy Recruitment. Stay with us. Then all set for the second half between Fonction Publique of Monaco and Synergy Recruitment from Ireland. Synergy in the national colors of Ireland in orange, white and green. And Monaco, Fonction Publique of Monaco in the classic all red. It's tied 1-1 at the break. A late goal by the Irish has equalized affairs. Homa Aldini on the ball. Nice through ball towards Gav. He's the arguably the most skillful player on the Irish side. Not wearing his trademark headband today, but still hard to miss. Trying to work a given goal. Bit of a risky pass there. 
But nicely done in the end by Niall, lofting it towards Gav, who's on the right wing there, given as a foul on Cedric Lodizi. The battle of the number eights there, very hard to miss the tall, burly, bald center back for Monaco. Now Gav on the ball, off the set piece. Just works it by behind. It's Niall who's always pinned in his own half as the sweeper. And Oin Duffy out there, the keeper. He's been used a lot as well as a playmaker. So that dual playmaker role being established here by the Irish. Gav gives it away. Bit of a low shot towards that right upright. Safely kicked away by the Monaco keeper Arno Sparato. No, pardon me. It is Arno, in fact. So a corner for the Irish, played quickly, and he steps in there very efficiently. Nicely read, nicely done. 13 minutes to go in this game, 15 minute halves each. And it's been very tight. Nip and tuck consistently. Not a lot of openings here for both sides. They've been content to respect each other's technique and quality. Niall trying to build from the back. Give and go once again. Home Aldini on the ball down the left flank. Squares it and just in time, just in time, the Monaco back line responds and clears it away. Nicely worked move there by the Irish. But read expertly at the crucial moment. Home Aldini to take the corner then. Plays it all the way back to Owen Duffy in the goal. Has a fair bit of acreage to get out to. Paul getting on the ball, getting some action in the game as well. We've seen the likes of Home Aldini, Niall and Gav as well as Owen Duffy, the principal starters. Sierran as well has gone a lot of game time. There's some space down the right flank with Niall making the run. But it's going to roll out for a goal kick. So it's 1-1 with about 12 minutes to go. Trying to build up from the back with Daniel Gonzalez. Nicely worked to the left flank. Now he's playing as a bit of a playmaker. Very interesting tactical shift here from Monaco. Oh, trying to do that Marseille roulette there was Andrea Castillo. Didn't quite pull it off just yet, but he has the technique and quality to do so. Trying that through ball to the left flank. You can see Sankey and Homaldini getting a breather. Of course, you do have rolling subs in 5-on-5 five five futsal. It's a very physically demanding game. And it's right around midday here in Dubai. So the temperatures are heating up as well as Daniel uh, right at the center circle. Nice move down the left flank. Dribbles away from Niall. Squared. Shot at goal and a brilliant save and he's tucked it in this time off the rebound. <laughs> Believe it. Off the Irish defender. Right into the top corner. A howler if there ever was one. And now, the Frenchmen have the lead. Scuff shot over the French goalkeeper. 10 minutes to go in the game. An own goal the difference. And the Irish will certainly be ruining their luck. Both goals came off, errors at the back. Gav having a shot from distance, but that's nowhere near. Corner for the Irish. Niall on the ball to the left flank. Has a low shot off the upright. It was a tight angle. It was ambitious. But we've seen those sneak in in the past. So the Frenchmen are living dangerously at the back. Perhaps getting a bit tired. Christophe Dumoulin plays it to his keeper. Now just putting his foot on the ball. Taking the sting out of the game so to speak. Nice ball to Daniel Gonzalez. He can square up. Shot and goal, but this time it's gone off 
from Hughie Manfredi for a corner. The Irish are heaving a bit here. Monaco are building up ahead of steam. Can they get that two goal cushion here off the corner? It's going to be Hughie himself to take it. Low cross to Daniel Gonzalez at the edge of the box. Nowhere to turn. And the Irish rip it off him. Down the left flank then. This is an opportunity on the counter. A shot over the keeper. Yes, it is a corner. So the Irish are heading back. Low cross, quick cross, but the keeper was alert to it. Now Daniel Gonzalez has room, has time. Step over, but beautiful tackle there from Home Aldini. Brilliant defending. This game has stepped up a notch in its tempo. Andrea trying to get that through ball to Hughie. And Owen Duffy steps in for the Irish. It'll be a goal kick. Plenty of encouragement from the Monaco bench. They're wearing the famous colors of AS Monaco, as we all know. The top flight club in Ligue 1 of the French League. Perennial champions, produced legends of the likes of Thierry Henry, David Trezeguet have represented their colors as well. And they'll need some kind of inspiration like that as well to get the equalizer. It's been a very tight game, seven and a half minutes to go. Huge Manfredi has a long distance shot, but well away from the goal, ambitious, but that can certainly pay off in five on five futsal. Oh, and Duffy gets the ball out quickly to home Aldini, trying to create down the right flank. But a Monaco player has gone down there. Looks a bit serious. It's Christophe Dumoulin. <laughs> Some theatrics there from Christophe. He definitely does look to be in a bit of pain. And we need the medical staff to get out there ASAP. He can't go off. Don't risk it. Need to get the stretcher out there. Meanwhile, it gives an opportunity to get some liquids down for the Irish. Perhaps try to reconfigure the game plan. Take a bit of risks. Maybe they'll allow the keeper, Owen Duffy, to step out even more. Create an extra man in the midfield. Christophe Dumel is certainly struggling and has to be carried off by the physio and the coaches. Hopefully he'll be fine for the remainder of the tournament. JC Brancato, the number six, checking in with him, providing a helping shoulder. That's good to see. Wonderful team spirit there from Fonction Publique. The game will resume in the meanwhile. Six minutes and 24 seconds to go. And Daniel will just hand it over to the Irish. Over to you and Owen Duffy. Home Aldini trying to create some movement out there. Gav on the ball as well. Gavin O'Keefe. Home Aldini works it. And they've equalized the Irish. Beautiful goal there. And they have tied it all up 2-2 with six minutes to go. What a game we've had here. The Irish versus the French. It's been an absolute thriller. And now Daniel Gonzalez has a shot. And he just fizzes past the left upright there. That was a bit of an opening there. Under six minutes to play. Who will get the game winner? Who will break it open? Right there at the back. Once again, that two-man pivot with the keeper as well. So they're playing quite defensively for my liking, are the Irish. Perhaps willing to stick to a draw. Oh, and Duffy trying to find the opening down the left flank, but the striker hadn't made the move. And the possession is over to the men from the Principality of Monaco. Lucas Magnani taking the kick in. 
Yuji Manfredi, he's been quite active. He's ran around a fair bit. Trying that low cross, finds Daniel Gonzalez, working the ball, posting up to Niall. Crossing it in towards the keeper, but Oyen Duffy quickly gets it away from harm. Corner for the Frenchman, Andrea Caschio to take it. Low cross fired into the box, going away for a corner once again. And the referee insisting that we have to take it just from the right spot. Daniel Gonzalez taking responsibility for the set piece. Oh, that was an opportunity, could have volleyed it into the net. Just couldn't execute it. It was coming at some serious pace. And now the Irish will get time on the ball. Precious moments, precious minutes here. Oh, Maldini, he's been a standout performer for the Irish today. One, two, give and go. Down the left flank, has a shot, but safely kept away at the near post. Andrea Cascio getting on the ball now. Good to see Christophe Dumoulin fully fit and back in the action. Daniel Gonzalez stepping on the ball there. Gavin O'Keefe squaring the ball. Shot and there it is. The Irish take the lead. Three minutes to go and they've taken the unlikely lead. 3-2 to Synergy. Under three minutes to play for the French to get an equalizer. What a game we've had here at the La Liga Academy field day. A bit of an upset if you can call it. That man Daniel Gonzalez miscontrols it. He's had a quiet game so far. They needed a big performance from him. And he hasn't quite managed to deliver as they would have liked. Once again, those critical errors. Gavin O'Keefe, brilliant footwork. Gets the foul, precious seconds. Ticking away. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the game. The Irish have shown a lot of resolve, a lot of heart, a lot of patience. And in the end, it may just pay off taking that late lead. Thanks to brilliant work there from that man, Gavin O'Keefe. Creating an opportunity that nobody could miss. Once again on the ball here. Niall boxing away his defender. Now they're just playing key, key ball, working it to the keeper. Owen Duffy have to be very precise. Home Aldini has had a brilliant game as well. One, two, shot at goal, but this time it fizzes away. Past the right upright. Just about 90 seconds to go. The keeper racing after the ball. They have no time to spare. Can the Frenchman find a late equalizer? Throws the ball to Daniel Gonzalez, number 18, with those pink boots on the ball. Working it to Dumoulin, back heel, home Aldini cleans up, Oin Duffy clears the ball. Out to the French keeper. Once again, they look to rebuild, once again, they look to equalize. Working it to the right, but Oin Duffy has the ball. Under a minute to play. He's hanging on for dear life. The Irish are hanging on for dear life. And that is the end of the game. A massive upset here as Synergy recruitment from Ireland have beat the firm favorites, Fonction Publique of Monaco. A late winner. And they've got the precious three points. What a game we've had. Fist pumps all around. You can see the Irish players absolutely delighted. What a win it's been for them. They had to dig deep. They had to claw back. They were under the gun for large parts of the game. And in the end, they got the winning goal. 3-2, it finishes for the Irish then.